Hello everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. Here in this series, we'll see what is Py ATS and how we can use that for day-to-day -day network automation and monitoring tasks. I'll be creating more videos on Py ATS. This is the first video in it. So Py ATS stands for Python Automated Test System. It is a framework introduced by Cisco. And here you can see Py ATS is an end-to-end -end DevOps automation ecosystem. Here DevOps means introducing DevOps culture into network automation. For example, introducing CACD pipeline into network configuration management. So in continuous integration stage, you will have a centralized repository for maintaining the configuration data like Python scripts or Ansible playbooks. And in continuous delivery stage, once you commit the code, this will deliver to a test environment where you can see the test result of new configuration changes. And in continuous deployment, once the test is successful, you can introduce some approval and with proper approvals, you can commit the changes to the production. If you follow these frameworks, the configuration changes are going to be more reliable and efficient and you will have entire track of the configuration changes. In single click, you can even revert entire infra configuration to previous state. It is a mature system for network feature testing. We'll go to the Py ATS core documentation. Originally, it is developed for Cisco internal engineering use. Later, they have made it open source. And this is the de facto test framework for internal Cisco engineers across different platforms and functions. They'll be running millions of CACD and Sanity testing using this framework. And this is Py ATS ecosystem where in the bottom layer you can see test infrastructure. On top of that, we have multiple libraries. Now this is called Py ATS library framework and Py ATS libs. And this can integrate with many third party tools like Ansible, Robo framework, Jenkins, multiple CACD pipelines and now we will get into the documentation by ATS documentation so you can refer this document this gives a really good understanding on by ATS and here you can see one note the by ATS library is a new name for what was previously known as genie And here we can see some of the key benefits for network engineers. So using Py ATS framework, you can connect to device and make sure they are up and running without much scripts or configuration changes. You can even retrieve information about network state. For example, if you want to monitor routing protocol state, you can use uh, Py ATS framework, then take before and after snapshot of the network and then compare. So you have some diff mechanism available in Py ATS. Then parse the device output and store a snapshot. And then run the same command specified time interval to compare the configuration of the previous state. All these are available and you can directly parse any of the show command output which supports in Py ATS. I'll be showing that also in the later videos. Even if you don't have much knowledge on Python, you will be able to do most of the task using Py ATS CLI. So we'll go to next. And this is the test ecosystem architecture of Py ATS. Here we can see one module harness. So this controls the flow of the network automation in three stages. In the first stage common setup where script will set up the device for testing and takes a pre snapshot. And in trigger and verification stage, this will trigger the actual test cases, compares the configuration changes and in the final stage, in the common cleanup, it will revert entire configuration. So we will look into all this later, like you can see multiple libraries, configuration parsers. So everything is available with Genie library or Py ATS library. Now I'll go to next and if you see the prerequisites to install.
you need either Ubuntu CentOS or you can even install it in Mac OS using Docker containers and so Python 3.7 and above you can install we'll be installing this in 3.10 and you need all these packages available now we'll try installing this into Ubuntu so first we need to set up a virtual environment so I'll be showing this Python virtual environment based installation you can even install it in docker so here we need to create a directory first so I'll go to terminal and I'll create a directory here I'm into user home directory I'll create a directory called py ATS space. I'll keep all the py ATS related files in this directory. So I'll go to that directory and inside that I'll create a directory for virtual environment. And inside that I'll install the virtual environment. I'll execute python 3.10 space hyphen m v e n v dot and we can go to the directory so insert by ATS space so now this has copied all these files and here this has installed a new python so let us verify the packages and in documentation we should be able to see how to go to that particular environment source bin activate source bin activate and here if I execute pip list so this is having very minimal packages available now we'll be installing this into this particular virtual environment and before installing we'll verify the packages list here inside lib python 3.10 and we have very minimal packages now to install py ATS we need to execute this command we'll try installing full package And here we should be able to see the packages which are getting installed So now you can see here now this is installing lot of libraries So installation is successful now we can check the package list 
so now this contains lot of packages in this particular virtual environment and if you see the directory size of this this is around 800 MB now so now all these packages are installed now let us verify the versions now we'll try some of the pi ATS CLI commands to get the help of pi ATS CLI you can give pi ATS hyphen H here we are getting multiple options we look into the version so we'll give pi ATS version hyphen H and to get the current version we can give check and these are the current versions and if you want to check whether this is the latest one we can give version check and hyphen hyphen outdated And you can see here all your packages are up to date and now if you want to update pi ATS version update and everything is latest so I can give no now in the next video we will see how to run example scripts so I hope this video was helpful for you to understand what is PyATS and how to install it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.